Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey here, uh, before the video actually starts, to tell you that, um, so, the next couple of videos coming up are me with the Mew Mew Force, and some of them don't have an intro, and the reason is, is that, uh, <laughs> we recorded too long, and it would take too long in my current setup to actually release these, and I don't have a lot of time, so they're basically being released in 10 chunk parts. So there's no ending for uh, part 1 and part 3 and in parts um, 2 and 4 you won't hear. Actually I think it's 1, 3, and 5. Man there's a lot. We recorded a lot. Anyway, here's me just to say enjoy the video. Hope you like it. It's another grind and talk. So I'm never sure if people like them but here you go. And uh, if you wonder why the video cuts off weirdly at the end, that's the reason why. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> I want to say that's the best uh, way to go. Uh, the way we went, it, it doesn't help that like my my family and this all happened. You know, all this all this stems from my dad raising us as a kid. And when he told us when we were going to Disneyland, he said, "You're gonna have to keep up with me, or otherwise you're gonna get into the back of the line. And guess what? You're not gonna be able to get into the ride. <laughs> so you better." <laughs> Call ass to like Indiana Jones. If you want to stay in this family, Hector, I understand that you're kind of big. It's okay. My people know my name. I understand you're a little big. I am going to need you to run to Indiana Jones. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, it, it's already been revealed. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Beans. I can't, I can't, I can't pretend to be my dad and say Wokey. He's never called me Wokey. My father's <laughs> never called me Wokey. <laughs> so that's like the equivalent of like when when my family would go to the movies when I was like, like I don't know, I want to say like eight. This was when I was still on the islands. So like when we went to the movies, it was like the whole family. So imagine like twenty adults and like fifty kids. And they were like, hey, this movie's they're talking specifically about Titanic, because I remember this moment. They're like, hey, if you fall asleep, it's three hours long, we're gonna leave you at the movies. <laughs> <I'm> like <laughs> that shit. I like I they never said it. That was the only time they said it, but I applied that shit to every other movie that we watched. And then it wasn't until later I was like, wait, I can't legally do that. What the fuck was I thinking? I'm stupid. <laughs> You know, I would also say the Titanic story would end totally different if it was actually filled with uh, Hispanics and Islanders because they would all the, all of them would have been able to get to the boats and already be gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where'd the boats go? Hey, bro, we're already leaving. <laughs> Where'd you? We left you behind. Now get to sink with the ocean. Uh, so Captain Ginyu carried that carried that information to this day. Uh, Fell asleep at Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> did you really fall asleep at Endgame? I did not. No, but you know what? It's I would not have been surprised because when I went to go see Endgame, like um, I had I had been planning it for a week because the year before I I went to I I took a day off from work. Um, first day was released. I didn't go to the midnight screening. I went just first day on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Took the day off, and I used the excuse. I forget what the excuse was, but I, I got the day off. I went to go see it so it wouldn't get spoiled. So this year, I didn't have time because I wasn't sure if I would get it off or not. I was like, oh shit, the movie's coming out next week. It's too late to put in a request. So I, uh, I just planned to go watch it at midnight. But when I was sitting there on uh, the AMC website trying to get tickets, I literally refreshed the page in every single seat for like... 50 auditoriums were taken at this one theater. I was like, fuck! So I kept looking at different times, and then the, the one that was still available was at 1 a.m. Then I said, fuck it, I'm going. So as soon as I got home from work that day, I took a nap. Yeah, no, I, I didn't take a nap. I was about to say I took a nap. I, I basically slept like I was going to sleep for the whole night, and then watch the movie, and then just stay up the whole day. So I was dog shit tired. By the time I got home from work the next day, well, yeah, I totally could have fallen asleep at uh, that screening if I didn't do that. Yeah, I could totally see that. Uh, you know what was crazy? So when Endgame went on sale, it went on sale like super late at night, and I was yeah. work I, I was working that day, and I worked a, a night shift, 
and one of our one of the employees said end game t- uh, tickets go on sale in 10 minutes and when 10 minutes pass i kid you not every single person stopped working and immediately went to go get their end game tickets <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds about um, right. that sounds so nice comparatively to what happened to me really did some did uh did you try and do something similar and then you were shot down no, so uh, Endgame tickets happened while I was in Japan. Oh, <laughs> that's <Yeah>. unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> and I, I, I had like stayed up. Well, we had we had traveled that day. I can't remember what we were doing. I think I was doing Japanese shit. No, I, I think we were still in Tokyo. Yeah, we were in Tokyo, and um, I had stayed up all night. To, to get these tickets, and I was like, you know, I'm not home right now, but I'm gonna get these tickets. That way, when we get back, we can watch Endgame. It's gonna be great. Every single app I used, I was using Atom, I was using uh, Fandango, uh, the AMC app, none of them would work. They'd all fucking time out or not load at all. And then when I finally got Fandango to work, they wouldn't allow me to buy tickets because I was out of the country and I was trying to buy tickets for here in California. And so I couldn't get tickets whatsoever. So we ended up seeing Endgame like I think a week after everyone else. That's but luckily a lot of people hadn't scored tickets, so there wasn't wasn't much spoilers. <laughs> the man, it's I, I think I also ended up seeing it a week later, but it was more Mason mainly because I didn't want to deal with uh, see, I, it's weird. I did really just didn't want to watch Endgame with uh, week day one Marvel fans, <laughs> not to be fucked up. But that's just kind of not what I wanted to do. There was a part Ooh, of my it life was where awesome. That... I fucking loved it. <laughs> I bet. I bet. You know what? There's parts of that where it's really awesome, where everyone is like on board. Uh, I just can't handle that for three hours. <laughs> I just like. Well, I can't. It's I like mean... that. It's like that clip you saw of like. Um, I don't know if you saw. I actually don't know if you've seen that clip. That clip where they were sh- seeing the end of Endgame, and then it was like a theater reacting of just a shit ton of people screaming their lungs off. And then I was, I yeah. was thinking like, if I was in that theater, I would have been fucking pissed. Like everyone, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to watch Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> so like, hey, my, I, I'm on on the opposite end of that. I'm like, that, that's what I like going to uh, the movies for. I remember. What movie was it? I think it was Scott Pilgrim. I went to go watch Scott Pilgrim with Jace, and like people were reacting to stuff that was happening in the movie. I was like, I like this movie going experience because the theater I usually go to pretty quiet. Uh, and like I was expecting that this time, but people were actually reacting to stuff, and that actually got me hella hyped. So I I do not mind that. I feel like if you were going to the theater to watch a movie, especially like a high profile one like Endgame, you should definitely expect that kind of shit but i, I can see how like if, if people are going overboard how that would be annoying Th- that's also why i'm not saying that if you want to act that way on day one then i'm saying that day is for you that's for oh, you yeah. yeah you go you have a fucking fun time this shit costs like a hundred dollars <laughs> you deserve to have a day out go have your fun i'll wait a week it's cool guys <laughs> don't worry about it dollars for a ticket what you'd be surprised some people would shit's <laughs> expensive need- you know how, like, over here, uh, sometimes they'll do, like, special sing-along screenings or, like, screenings where you can just, like, yell at the screen and stuff, kind of like a Rocky Horror show? Yeah. So, uh, my buddy in Japan, which I visited while I was there, was also uh, trying to get endgame tickets. He didn't get them, but <laughs> that's another story. Um but he was trying to communicate with the, his local movie theater or the movie theater that he likes to go to that has like an IMAX screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, can we have a screening where people are allowed to cheer and clap? Because that's not a thing in Japan. In yes. Japan, they watch films in complete fucking silence for the most part. No, no reaction, no nothing. Like, I went to go see Spider-Verse over there. That theater was dead. 
And I had thought to myself, holy fuck, do these people not like Spider-Verse? But then afterwards, when we got out of the theater, the audience was happy and smiling. Like, oh, yeah, I fucking like that movie. But I was like, oh, I don't understand this. There's, It's just a completely different culture. Yeah, that's definitely so, something. <laughs> long story short, uh, the theater denied him his special uh, yelling experience. It was like, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> that's a shame. I was going to say, I've known that about uh, the Japanese for a while now because that's the difference between American uh, wrestling fans and Japanese wrestling fans is that American wrestling fans scream at the wrestlers, you fucking suck, you fucking suck, <laughs> you fucking sucks, while the Japanese side will go, oh. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting so much more of that reaction, but you know what? <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, but that's all they'll do. That's the, the, like the the crowds are very like, <gasps> and then if a big move happens, oh, <laughs> that's about it's it. Very, it's very respectful of others around them and their experience, you know. Yeah, it's crazy to think about, and when you see the differences between them, it's something else. Also. Uh, that's enough for this grinding video. Join us for the other grinding video because there's two characters to grind. So we'll see you on the next one. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, Jay.